That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. Sophia, what part are you trying out for? Juliet? Really? Well, you know the best part in the whole play is the nurse. Oh, yeah? Then how come they don't call it Romeo and the nurse? Now, that was a fine film. My old man, he had it hidden in his toolbox. I found it. Anyway, I'm trying out for Juliet. And even though you're my girl and I love you like a sister, God help you if you get in my way. <laughs> Snap out of it. It's a school play. Spielberg won't be attending. <laughs> All right, Charles, the rest of you can leave because uh, Romeo is in the hats. Did you memorize your monologue? Nah, nah, I'm gonna just throw my raw sexuality out there and act without a shirt on, you know, like Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> Okay, everybody, as soon as Miss Greer gets here, we're gonna get started. We want everybody to go outside, then we'll be calling you back in one by one. Now, listen, don't take it personal if you don't get the part that you really want. It just means that I don't think you're good enough. Hello, Mr. Hightower. I'm here and ready for the auditions whenever you are. Well, don't you look nice today, Kizzy? <laughs> Must be working in the big house now. Look, my mother is visiting me, and she made this for me. I'm just glad that I was able to sneak out without the matching head rag. <clears throat> well, we probably need to go ahead and get started right away. I'm pretty sure you'll be wanting to get back to Toby and Chicken George. <laughs> First, I'm gonna start with a few dramatic exercises. <laughs> oh. Thy drugs are quick. Thus, with a kiss, I die. For our girl, Romeo. What light through yonder window breaks? That's Juliet's window. Ooh, that girl, thick. Excuse me, but when did Juliet move to Compton? I am a tree in the wind. Oh, Lisbeth! Oh, that I were a glove upon that hand, that I might touch that cheek. This boy is sprung. Romeo, doff thy name, and for thy name, which is no part of thee, take all myself. I'm talented enough. I'm pretty enough, and doggone it, Jada Pinkett would just die for these dimples. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> 